so welcome back. Today, um, I'm not sure if this video is going to go up on Monday or Friday because I was kind of off on my schedule, but today I'm doing my makeup room tour. So I'm going to take you around and show you where I got all of my furniture, how I decorated it, um, and where I got everything. So this room now, um, like I said, I turned it into my makeup room because this is where I wanted to have all of my beauty stuff and my makeup and get ready. Um, and I also decorated it for Christmas. So if you guys wanna see how I decorated my room for Christmas, I have a vlog on my Dulce Candy TV channel because I started doing Vlogmas for the whole month of December. One vlog a day for the whole month of December. So we'll see how that goes. I'm on day two, so I'm doing pretty good. Um, and yeah, let's get started on this little room tour. It is not finished. Um, it's just that I wanted to do it now because I did the whole Christmas decorating video and I wanted to show you how everything looks um, as of right now because I still need to get the ceiling fixed um, just because this the ceiling has like that cottage cheese uh, feel it's like really bumpy and um, I still have to get a whole new lighting system for the room because it has a really old 1960s fan and we also have to get hardwood floors for this one and I have to get a carpet still so once all of that stuff is done then I'll do an updated uh, makeup room but for now this is my room and I love it it's so cozy and girly and I feel like this is how my room would look if I was still living with my parents I would just need like a twin size bed or something, but it's so awesome and cool here, especially when I turn on the little Christmas tree, you turn off the lights, it's like, I just wish I had a TV and a bed here if I was still single. Anyways, so let's get started because I have so much to share with you. Woo! I have this sign that I got from World Market. It's an awesome store and they always have great deals. It's a sign that says, do not disturb, and I just hang it outside my door whenever I'm filming. Then here I have my little white Christmas tree. I ended up getting this white Christmas tree because I wasn't sure if I wanted like a pink one or a green. All right, so I turned off the light so you guys can see it a little better, but I ended up getting this Christmas tree. A small little, I forgot, I think it's like four feet, so it's like as, high, as tall as me. And I ended up getting white this year just because I just love that everything in my room is white. And I decorated it with a bunch of stuff that I got from um, Big Lots. And that's where the tree is from as well, Big Lots. So you know my name is Dulce Candy, so I got candies and cupcakes and little crystal things. Um, these are from Target, I got them last year. I got them in blue and also in pink. And this lollipop here is from a seasonal store here where I live. And yeah, I thought it just went with the whole little feel of the tree. And the little skirt is also from um, Big Lots. So that's my little tree. Now, this is a little drawer set that I got from Ikea. And what I like about it is that it just has so much space for all my crafting stuff and for scrapbooking and all that good stuff. So that's where I keep a lot of these things in these drawers and, you know, to make bracelets. I just love um, just adapting new hobbies all the time. Now these two shelves, I just put two of them up. Actually, my husband did it. And they're from Target. I just recently got them, but I like to use them to store all of my crafting glitter and also my paint from Martha Stewart and crafting glue and little beads to make bracelets. Keep them all here. And I have these two little containers. These used to be, actually these are for candles and I'm gonna make candles one day. So for now I'm just gonna use them to store my crafting uh, scissors. They have spe uh, special edges and I also have some brushes in there. And then I ended up getting this little uh, nutcracker from Home Goods. And this little guy here is from the dollar store. So I loved it. I just placed it on my little vanity table. The table is from Ikea and this mirror here is from Vanity Girl Hollywood, I think. Yeah. The light the flicks on. It just gives you amazing lighting. It really does look. And then you have like this light switch here. Uh, the table is from Ikea as well. Ikea. And I like that it has this drawer and this glass top so I keep my everyday makeup in this drawer. And this is my phone. 
$1.99. The Nutcracker is from Home Goods. The Little Santa is also from Home Goods. This little thing here is from TJ Maxx. And the black, the back uh, flower thing is from Michaels. Now, this set is also from Ikea. And I got an extra one just to store new products that come in from companies. And, you know, just to kind of keep things separate and organized. That's not organized. <laughs> oh, and the little uh, hearts from the top, those I just recently got from Target. And they are super cute. The only thing is that the finish of my paint is semi-glossy. So when it gets really hot in here, these things just start to fall off. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, the chair is from Hot Look. And the little pillow I just got from that same store that I told you that's only seasonal. Which was really overpriced, so I didn't really get a lot of stuff. But they had amazing things to decorate your house for Christmas. And yeah. Oh, the little tree in the back is last year from, uh, from Target. It was about $10, I think. So that's a really great deal. And these little things that I hung on my windows by the curtains, those are kind of like candies. And I got those from the same seasonal store. I'll figure out the name and I'll put it in the video just in case if you guys are wondering. The curtains I got from Target and I just love them. They're white ruffly curtains. I'd probably get some like dusty rose curtains in the future. But for now they're white. And I have my vintage little pencil sharpener that I found at a thrift store. Isn't it awesome? This is like so 1990s like early 1990s, it's pretty cool. And now this is the candle that I just recently got from Bath & Body Works. It's called Marshmallow Fireside, it smells so good. And this is just a little box. This is a little figurine that I got from um, Ikea. And it's perfect for a design studio, don't you think? This is awesome because I like to use it for fashion illustration. I can pretty much make this little mannequin do whatever whatever kind of shape I want, and then I can just sketch it easily into my notepad. So yeah, that's where I keep that. And those are my Prisma markers. This little light is also from Ikea. The whole table is from Ikea. And this little thing here, moving on, this I got for Isaac, and I got it off of Amazon. And it's actually a changing table, but I ended up turning it into something that I'm using in my room now because he moved into another room and he doesn't need this thing anymore. He never really used it. He has different kind of furniture anyways, so I just brought it on to my room and I really like it. So um, starting off at the top, I have my little uh, flower, the little snowman, so adorable. And this little thing here that says hope. And those are my Christmas decorations. Like I said, I have the whole video over at my vlog channel. And then I have my Kate Spade perfume with the lotion. And then I have these Campbell's sort of like vintage cups um, that I store pencils in. These I got from a thrift store as well. I get a lot of stuff at the thrift store, guys. And then I have a few more decorations. I have this awesome Andrea Schroeder candle. I have this little thing here where I store, I actually came with these, uh, those creaseless hair bands. And this is the cup that I got at Anthropology with the letter I for Isaac. And these are just some um, Polaroid pictures I took. Look at this one, Aisha looks so fabulous. Doesn't she look so pretty? I think she does. And um, my friend Morgan and me, her birthday. We're so like attached to the hip. Attached to the hip. See? Look at this picture. I love this one. We like BFFs. Duh, we are. Not like. And I also like this picture of us. Where is it? Here it is. I wish they were bigger so we can frame them. And this is Carla. She's so awesome. I love her. And yeah, it's her blowing out her little ca uh, cake. On her candle and my sister Wendell's okay so yeah and then I have a lot of nail polishes in here if you guys can see all the way to the back I know guys you're gonna be like why do you have so many nail polishes 
I just do. I love nail polish. And yeah, so I store them all here. I keep my favorite ones in the front. And in this little section here, I have some Bath & Body Works products, just new products that I just recently got. So I put them there. And then I have clean brushes in the back. And I also have my Christmas cards. These are the ones I'm going to be giving out this year. And I got these from TJ Maxx for $4.99. And I love them. They're so cute. And then that's a candle. And they, these are just um, makeup books, basically, from Benefit. And this is the Racing Eyebrows books. Book. Sorry. And, yeah, so I keep those there. And then at the bottom section, I have more clean makeup brushes. I used to store them outside, but they started to collect a lot of dust. So I just keep them in here now. And I have some pattern making books, sewing books, a candle, and this company actually sent me Chic Phrases Sling and Style. So if you go to Paris, France, and you want to learn how to say chic phrases, <laughs> then that's the book for you. It's by Rihanna, Rihanna Jones. Okay, and in this drawer, I'm not going to go through everything, guys, but here I have um, new products that I just recently got. And, um, yeah, so I just, I don't want to lose track of what people send me, so I keep them all here. These are also new stuff that I got. This lolly tint from Benefit is awesome, guys. It makes your face look so nicely flushed. And then I have my mannequin. And actually, this is a dress form, not a mannequin. And that's where I do some draping. I have my little tape here. And then this nail polish rack, my dad custom built it. He actually makes these and he sells them. And he also makes something about half the size. This one stores about 65 nail polishes. So I have all of my Essie and L'Oreal and Butter London polishes here. Kind of color coordinated actually. And then I just wrapped it around with some uh, lights for Valentine's. So this is it. Really love the way my dad made it. He can make it any color. It's so sturdy, way better than the one that I DIY'd. It just takes a little bit more work. So, I mean, you could definitely DIY this, but he like did everything. The edges, it's all handmade. So he's so awesome. My dad is like just amazing. Now this little garland I got from the internet and I won't even tell you guys where I got this because it was 300 bucks. And there's awesome DIY um, Pinterest posts where you can do these for like 20 bucks. So, yeah. And then this is my little desk. I know a lot of you were like, I like the better in the closet. But the closet is just strictly a closet now. So this is like sort of like my office. And I have this little teddy bear that I love. It's from a Spotted Moth. And the company sent me this along with a bunch of different stuff and I really love the teddy bear. And it has like little undies. <laughs> I just thought it was adorable. And I also keep this little box just for knickknacks. It's from the dollar store. My book, The Magic. And I also keep a picture of my puppy. He's so adorable. Look at him. Isn't he cute? Look at that smile. He's the best. Those are his little dirty knees because he was running around and falling. This is about a year ago. He's just the best guy in the world. And I have a little candle. Haven't burned this, but I do. And one of my subbies actually sent me this. It's so awesome. It's like a little thing to hold your makeup brushes or pencils. I use it on my desk because it's super cute. The chair is from Ikea. The desk is also from Ikea. And the pillow is from TJ Maxx. Now, this is my makeup collection and this year, 2013, I already did an updated makeup collection and I only had three and um, I added another one, kind of added like two more, but I'll, I'll do an updated makeup collection maybe in the future, like next year, like late 2014 or something like that, but I like to keep everything sort of clear from the top and I have everything labeled as well with a label machine. So I know what stuff I have in what, like lipstick and lip glosses. They're all stored in here. And uh, this is my favorite drawer, benefit stuff. Okay, anyways, so over here I have um, some new products that I just got. 
This is my invitation to go to San Francisco for the first time and it's from Benefit and they just come up with the cutest ideas ever so it's like it's something that I'm going to keep just displayed out in my makeup room forever so I really like it. This is from the uh, thrift store as well and I actually really like it to hold compacts but I feel like it was more it's a lot better to hold sort of like eyeliners or anything sort of pencil-y like just because it holds a lot more than the compacts in here so I got that and then these two I think are rag and bone for Target the cups and I keep my Sigma precision brushes and eyeliners here more eyeliners these are my Tarte brushes and then this crystal thing here is so awesome this is also from the thrift store I keep lip liners in there that this thing here these two little uh, things here they're from Michaels and I use them to keep my clean brushes out here as well and now here I have all of my eyeshadow brushes so I got these little things from um, where did I get these I got them from Joann's and you can store a lot of awesome stuff in here and what I do I store these are all clean guys I went through a whole day last week and I cleaned all of my makeup brushes yeah actually yeah last week like on Friday and yeah so they're all completely clean and I just keep them in this container because they're just you know I don't want them to collect dust or anything like that so now I know where all of my clean brushes are and this is my train case um, I'm probably gonna sell that so if you're interested send me an email it's brand new um, and yeah I'm gonna sell that now oh my gosh guys I never showed you this but I am trying to figure out a way to hang this um, this is a big card that means so much to me this is for my 1 million subscribers uh, party and our meet and greet and it has everything like from all of you guys you guys all wrote me beautiful messages and I just feel so incredibly just blessed to have you guys and I want to figure out a way to hang this in my room like I want to frame it um, because I don't want to keep it out like this I want to frame it and I'm not sure how because I want to keep this front but I also want to see this but I think if anything I definitely want to see the writing um, instead of the cover, even though the cover's pretty awesome as well. So, what do you guys think? I don't know. Give me some ideas. I mean, this is pretty awesome. This just excites me every time I see this. Because it's like handwritten notes from you guys. So, I love this. It's mine forever. Okay, so I have about five more minutes. Like I said, if you guys want that little thing here, I'll give you guys a good deal. Because I'm trying to get rid of it. Now, last but not least, I have my... Eiffel Tower clock that my mom gave me for my birthday and I have this little thing here that I got from uh, Ross and now this is also from Ross and I just keep cotton balls and in here I have a lot of nail polish or nail stuff so I have uh, like the nail uh, what are they called nail polish strips so yeah so these are like nail art products and stuff like that and I have more nail polish strips here so I have everything organized and yeah that's pretty much all that I have in my room this is my bulletin board so I can stay updated with stuff oh and I forgot to tell you guys those little sorry that's the light these little things here I got them from where did I get these oh yeah I got them from Target and they just go with my room so um you guys have to let me know if you guys like the quality because I'm using a handy cam today I typically use my SLR to film my videos, but uh, using a handy cam is way easier to maneuver and it doesn't lose focus. So I hope you guys enjoyed my tour of my makeup room and like I said, I mentioned where every single thing is from. Oh, the carpet is from Hot Look. Don't like it. It just doesn't go with my room, but for now, it actually used to be in the living room, but I mean, it doesn't go with my room anymore. It never did actually so I gotta figure out how am I gonna get rid of that thing because I don't want it in my room there's just nowhere for it to go so I have to have it in my room all right guys I will talk to you guys later thanks for watching and don't forget to go to my vlog channel if you want to see and I'll put the link down below if you want to see all of my vlogs for the whole month of December hopefully I can do it I'm, a, I'm on track I did day one and day two already so tomorrow's December 3rd my subbies taught me that you don't say deuces you say 
Dulces.